Girls gotta go fast today. Yo, dudes and dudettes, your friendly neighborhood Jack's Blade is back with another episode of Trainers React, the series where I use my knowledge of personal training and exercise science to analyze how effective the routines shown in Dom Bruno and Kira Matero, aka how heavy are the dumbbells you lift, are if you attempted them in real life. It's very similar to my Would That Work Out series, if you're familiar with my channel, where I do this exact thing, but I look at like more uh, series that are just outside the scope of things, like, okay, I think that would kill you. So this is pretty much basic, a toned down version of that. Also, again, this is sponsored by Funimation. If you would like to watch How Heavy Are the Dumbbells You Lift, aka Don Bruno Kier Matero, go click the link in my pinned comment down below and you can get like 30 days free or something like that I believe where you can just watch the thing. Just like click that link down below and then we can get situated for you to watch these girls get some gains, alright? But let's get to it. Like I said before, my girl Habiki gives you all some great anime avatar faces. Like, you have the perfect reaction images from my girl alone. That, that's why I love this series. Like, you just get the perfect reaction image. Like, there's so many that you choose from. Oh, five episodes. All right, I'm surprised if I don't see enough Habiki avatars in the comment section or on Twitter or any other social media. Is this show really doing it right? Is it really doing it right? All right, no, I just got to say that. All right, so step the game up. It cracks me up how strong he is, even in his skinny form. I mean, it makes no difference, but it's just like just doing a wrestler bridge with three girls sitting on you. That's beast, man. Uh, but uh, yeah, let me talk about this really quickly since I know they're not going to, but I believe they do have a, a chapter about this later on, so I can talk about it then, like in depth. But um, I for wrestler bridges, I think there are just so many better ways to train your neck and get your neck stronger. Uh, there are tons of videos on this subject too. And like some coaches will have like a hissy fit saying, no, you need to do them to get your strong neck. And then some coaches will say like, no, this is dangerous. You're just on a way to snap city. But uh, a ideal way to train your neck is actually, if you watch my, would that work out for Rora Nora Zoro from One Piece? I talk in depth about a myriad of neck training ways to help you increase your neck to get it strong and thicker. So that you don't have to worry about injuries or anything like that and actually make your uh, neck really strong or organically without like any risk of danger. So I'm just gonna say that right now. Uh, if you're a complete beginner, do not be doing neck bridges like he's doing. Let's pause for a sec and talk about the leg curl. I personally do agree with everything he's saying, like all the benefits of leg curls, as long as you do them properly and don't like lock your knees out or anything like that. And I do believe that they are extremely helpful. But one thing I have to bring up right now is some people will see like the put the X over squats, like saying, oh, they're not helpful in helping you run faster. And that's just no, not true, okay? Like squats, are one of the king exercises. They help you run faster, jump higher, and just make you more powerful, give you a powerful base. So never skip squats like thinking, oh, like they're not gonna help me at all. Like definitely incorporate them. I know they're not saying that exactly, but I know some people will see like, oh, they put an X over squats and that just means like they're no good. That's not the case at all. I just want to make that perfectly, perfectly clear. You should be doing your squats. Definitely do your squats. You want a girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, do your squats, all right? beneficial, insanely beneficial. But uh, there are better ways, I will say, like since they're trying to incorporate speed, there's a lot of great videos on speed training. As a matter of fact, my bro Tehran actually did a great video, you can check it out. And um, there, uh, I actually did a video on speed training for my very first Tough Like the Tunes, which is stuff I learned when I was doing my strength and conditioning class in uh, college, and also when I used to run track and do football in high school. And this helped me immensely, like again, legs, diesel ass legs, shirt soon coming. But yeah, I just prefer to do a lot of plyometric fast twitch muscle fiber movements, where you do like a lot of power movements, a lot of fast movements where you're like, okay, I'm working explosiveness. Another thing to work, if you're trying to get your sprint time to shorten is you have to focus on the form of your sprints. Like some people don't have like good form. Like some people just run like they're cry chop the wind, but they don't have like the proper acceleration to take off. And that is one of the key things. You wanna make sure your form is on point because that'll help you sprint faster. And then that's just going to help you just go glide, B man. That's gonna make you glide, like girl, whatever you wanna do. So take those into account. So I'm just gonna say my piece. I think leg curls, very beneficial. Uh, if you want to increase your speed a bit further, try out my Sonic and Rainbow Dash Tough Like Tunes episode one. Jordan, your sponsor. 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 <laughs> oh, here we go. She's already got the green eyes and gold hair, so you know she's super. Just saying. Oh, oh, whatever. Yeah, that's my girl right there. <laughs> Look at the JoJo faces. They finally get the JoJo face. Oh 
Oh my god, Pinky's, uh, Pinky's doing some Curry Clan uh, uh, removal. If you don't know what Curry Clan removal is, it's from freaking. What's going on, much? <laughs> <laughs> Everything's just going crazy right now. Hey, Machio stripping, then doing this. Oh god, but yeah, Curry Clan removal is from Kenganashra, which ironically came out today. Sorry, I got distracted. Which came out on Netflix today. You can check it out, and I did a whole video on that too. But uh, yes. All right, pause. Let's talk about the psoas muscle. And I, I honestly agree with everything he's saying here. Chef's kiss. Love that little notion that a lot of people uh, don't work on their psoas muscle, and that's very true. Like a lot of people actually have a lot tight psoas muscle, and again, if you don't know, it's just the muscle that connects your upper body to your lower body, helps you with your posture, helps you get a nice strong core, and also helps raise your leg up or lunge back. So a lot of people will develop a certain thing where their psoas becomes super, super tight, and they're not able to run as effectively as before. If you're familiar with um. David Goggins. David Goggins is a supreme athlete, just dude who runs insane miles on end. He's just a beast. He has that beast mentality. I really respect the man a lot. Uh, he was talking on Joe Rogan's podcast about like using a psoas muscle relief tool. And this psoas muscle relief tool is actually very beneficial for people who feel like, oh, I, it's so tight down there. I'm not able to get into it with my thumb properly. Because like if you're trying to massage it just over the stomach because you got all these muscles and stuff like that, it's just it's a pain. So honestly, I believe using a tool is just so much more beneficial for using that. That is why I'm such an advocate for core training. You know, not just training the abs, but the lower back and the glutes as well, because that helps you to stabilize and balance and helps you to keep you from overcompensating if you have any weakness in your lower or middle body. And this will actually help you to go faster because if your body is overcompensating for a weakness, it'll slow you down. But if you have like everything just balanced and stabilized, and not only will it increase your running form, but it'll help you prepare better for you know hill sprints or regular sprints or just help you just move faster and move easier so I always say like don't neglect your core all of this is just perfect if you work your entire body like you should honestly like Bruce Lee said you should train every part of your body every single part of your body I know some of you gonna have fun with that but whatever you know what I mean train every single part of your body don't neglect anything and that is what's really going to get you the best results for anything you want to accomplish in your life also another thing I want to bring up for people who are just focused on the aesthetics like you just want to get like a deeper contraction in your obliques what you can do is if you lie on your back and instead of like moving the legs alternating if you just lie on your back and just bring the elbow to the knee contracting and really feeling it in your oblique that actually gives you a deeper contraction you can feel it work deeper if you try it out like actually just go try it out for yourself just lie on your back and then alternate the knee to the elbow I don't know why I just said knee elbow they're I guess elbows are knees for the arm Yes, quote that, I guess, whatever. Yeah, but uh, you know what I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, just lie on your back, alternate elbow to knee, elbow to knee. You'll feel like such a deep contraction. Make sure you blow out at the top of the movement and like hold it and then just go back to starting position. You will feel such a deep contraction and your abs will just be like, oh God, oh, this is amazing. So just another fun way to try something out. Oh no. I love this music though, it's so hype! I'm actually proud of Hibiki being the one to explain this stuff instead of everyone else. I love that. I love the fact that Hibiki is explaining this, like, it's great. Mm. Also, so let's pause again really quickly. Uh, I remember for the longest time, even as a trainer, because I used to be one of those clothes line, like, that's so stupid, you're just sitting in a hot box, that like saunas don't do anything, but all the stuff they're mentioning, very beneficial. And actually, if you watch um, Dr. Rhonda Patrick, this is a person I found out when I was listening to the Joe Rogan podcast, because back when I was in physical therapy, I couldn't lift properly. I, I, I honestly couldn't lift. I wasn't supposed to lift for about three months. Uh, it was the second month they said, like, you start lifting baby weights and stuff like that. And um, I listened to the podcast that she was talking to Joe about like saunas and like how beneficial they are and how they release heat proteins, all this stuff. And me being the first, I'm like, yeah, whatever. This is absolute trash, bullshit, whatever. And so, um, I actually started trying it out and like had an open mind and I uh, went in there and like after I would do my physical therapy exercises I would go into the sauna for about 15 minutes and um, so I noticed that I was supposed to be in physical therapy for about three to four months and I, I was starting to feel tremendously like it was a big 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 difference after like just a month and a half 
because I started incorporating the sauna into my routine. Like it was different. It was weird. Like I was like starting to feel so much better. And even the, the physical therapist mentioned this to me. Like, have you been doing anything else? I was like, no, just going there, doing this. So like the benefit of working the muscles that were injured and doing the sauna actually helped me a lot. And I'm not saying this just like to sell this episode. Like, yes, I'm saying this to sell the episode. No, no, I'm telling you legit. Like I feel like people who follow me on Instagram, you saw me do this from back in, what was it, July and August where I was like, oh, I'm lifting baby weights again. I was able to start doing it again and I was able to work out without my band thing. So yeah, I do love the sauna now. I try to use it about three times a week. I think it's great. I love it. And everything they mentioned here is great. All the stuff they mentioned right here is 100% legit. 100% legit. And I'll actually link the Rhonda Patrick thing so you can listen to the exact talk she had about it because it was really eye-opening and fascinating and I just I, I honestly like it and I know some people will be like well that's a study show thing but it's just like you know I like having an open mind when I look for things all right I literally just go huh that sounds interesting I'm gonna try it is there any inherent danger to this no okay you know what? I'm gonna give it a shot you know so that's what I'm saying I'm not saying a hundred percent oh yeah this will definitely heal any injury you have but I'm saying for me I noticed a significant improvement in my body so I just wanted to say that all right Back to the show. But trying to do this racing, that can be dangerous. Yeah, that can be very, very dangerous. So I would not suggest doing the whole racing they're doing right now. Yeah, they even said it. They even said it. So, yep, uh, don't do that. Dangerous, stupid. Oh, and after the credits, they got a bicycle thing you can follow along with. I would do it, but my room is an absolute mess right now because I'm literally packing to go to this freaking con. So, my room is like a horrible, horrible pigsty because that's what I get out of shape when I'm doing. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to do them in spare. I'll actually do them when I get to the hotel room. Uh, you know what? I actually, I actually enjoy working out. So, of course, I will do this along and I'll get everyone in my room to do it along with them. But uh, yeah, that just great. Love it. Love it. Chef's kiss. Well, do you do this? I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you learned something. I hope it was very fun to watch and uh, yeah, thank you for watching again. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell icon down below because that will let you know the moment I upload and I want you to stay uh, consistent watching these because I had a lot of fun with these episodes today. Like they're always super fun to do. And then remember if you want to look at any of my other content, I got myriads of it. It's not just trainers react on this channel. I have tons of stuff. As a matter of fact, this weekend I have a new video coming on my top 10 personal favorite training song. So, Keep on the lookout for that. Keep on the lookout for that. I'm really gonna enjoy that. Uh, but anyways, um, thank you for watching again. If you're interested in getting a workout program so you can actually get fit like these characters, check my description box down below. You can see it. Like I got one for the gym, got one for home training, I got one to help you get a hero's will, and I think it's all just super beneficial. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go enjoy my weekend now and party it up with all my friends, and it's gonna be super rad. So uh, remember, like I always say. Keep calm, booyah on, don't forget, moment tie. Now I'm gonna go party, booyah!